Welcome back. In this video, I'll talk about alternatives to gluteal injections. The gluteal muscle is preferred for injecting medications intramuscularly, and in this video, I'll discuss some other routes. The most common alternative is the deltoid muscle in the shoulder. It is easily accessible, bulky, and with fewer complications. To inject the medication, locate the acromion process, and then inject it two or three fingers below the acromion process. Try to locate the biggest bulb of the muscle and inject the medication there. This location is easy to access and suitable for small volume medications. There is, however, some risk of hitting some nerves or arteries, like the radial nerve or the brachial artery. And then we have the vastus lateralis, which is located in the lateral side of the thigh. It's a rather large muscle and again, once you inject the medication, make sure that you hit the largest bulk of the muscle. This large muscle can take a larger volume of medications, and it doesn't have any important neurovascular structures underneath it, so there is a little risk of complication. But it can be uncomfortable for the patient. And then we have the rectus femoris, which is located in the anterior of the thigh. This muscle can be ideal for self-administering medications, but it can be painful in injection, as this muscle is highly mobile. And of course, we have to mention the gluteal injections themselves. And we have the dorsogluteal site, which is the most commonly used. We simply divide the buttocle area into four quadrants, and we inject into the upper outer quadrant. This is familiar for many healthcare workers, but there is a risk of injuring the sciatic nerve. The preferred way is the ventrogluteal site, which is at the side of the gluteal area. This is safer, but requires some anatomical landmark knowledge. And that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching.